Ashford University, CJ415, Supervision of Police. My name is Andre Rosedale. I'm the instructor for this course, and this is Module 4, Discussion Question 1, which reads, Discuss the factors that foster change. Describe the process of accepting change by the employees it affects. So I look forward to a response from you with a good APA reference. And uh, to continue that conversation, I, uh, when this is being filmed, I retired uh, about two weeks ago. And um, within the past couple of weeks towards my retirement, um, what fosters change? We saw, my department saw me leaving. Uh, I'm a senior officer and the vice president of the union and really motivated, I think, really motivated some of the younger guys to kind of find their own way and kind of stand up for themselves, which is difficult when you're a young police officer because you've just been through a hiring process uh, and then you go through the police academy, which in Connecticut I think is six months at this point. And then you go through a field training phase and then for the next couple of years, you continue to be judged and graded. Um, and some of them just kind of take some of the heat. And I think that I've kind of been a factor there. And we've been looking for replacements. Uh, we had a change in my department. We had a narcotics detective who has spent the majority of his career, uh, 15 years, as a narcotics detective. And through some internal strife and some political movements and stuff, he has found himself on community policing, which is not where he wanted to be. Um, but he is taking hold of that. He's now a senior guy. He is the, I was the fourth senior officer, so he's the fourth senior officer in the department now. And um, he has got a lot going for him. He's a smart guy. He's very good at what he does with narcotics. He made a lot of connections. He then took all of this energy and has re recently become a real estate agent. And in Connecticut right now, there's a real estate boom. So he's making a lot of money and he's kind of untouchable because they did things they shouldn't have done to him and put him in this position. And he is taking the energy of being successful outside of the police department and inspiring other people to look outside the department, not necessarily lead, leave, but um, find ways to better themselves outside of the, of the department. The past six or seven years, I've really been pushing the new guys to invest in the 457 that we have, to buy back their first year of retirement. We have a retirement and you can go your first year and not buy it back, or you can buy it back at the end of your first year when your probation ends. And I've really been pushing guys. I've really been pushing young kids that get out of college, living with their parents, and are suddenly making $68,000 a year to not buy that motorcycle, not buy that Camaro, but make sure they're investing the money before they buy the toys. And this narcotics detective is picking up that it's really kind of inspiring guys and um that is a change that was unexpected and is very nice to see so as part of this discussion where have you seen a change that wasn't a formal change or wasn't an administrative change that really kind of ignited where you worked what you did whether it's in police work whether it's in some other uh, aspect or maybe some kind of group you belong to like uh, Lions or the Rotary Club or something so I, I would like to know what kind of change what kind of informal change really motivated people because I think motivation is what really makes organizations work I look forward to your response